open market operations and expansionary monetary policy. As you can tell, this economy is in a recession. There's a recessionary gap here. Employment is below the full employment level. The Fed could use open market operations expansionary policy to try to get this economy back to full employment. The open market operation that it would use is to buy bonds. If the Fed buys bonds, what do you think happens to aggregate demand? Nothing. Buying bonds is not a component of aggregate demand or a change in the component of aggregate demand. If Feds buy bonds from banks, then we know that the excess reserves goes up. If excess reserves goes up, what happens to aggregate demand? Nothing, because excess reserves are not a component of aggregate demand. If banks lend those excess reserves, then this increases the money supply. As the money supply increases, this is a shift to the right. As there's more money out there, the money supply increases, driving the nominal interest rate down. Nominal and real interest rates tend to follow each other, and as the nominal interest rate goes down, then consumption goes up and investment goes up, and those are large components of aggregate demand. Aggregate demand now will increase, so watch what happens to the price level as aggregate demand increases. As aggregate demand increases, the price level starts to rise. So the price level goes up, and real GDP and national income also go up. Notice how real GDP is increasing. This gap is getting closed. As real GDP is going up, then you know then that employment is going up. More is produced, more employment is needed, quote unquote, to produce the products. As aggregate demand keeps shifting to the right, and you know employment is increasing, then you know that unemployment is decreasing. So the ultimate goal of expansionary monetary policy is to buy bonds with the final effect of increasing aggregate demand, causing it to shift to the right, raising the price level, raising real GDP and national income, raising employment and decreasing unemployment.